Nottingham. Hey up everyone, we've got 24 hours here, so let's get started. What's it like to be back in Nottingham, Paul? It feels like we never left. Yes, indeed. Now, the building behind us is Nottingham Town Hall. Now, that is correct. I know Nottingham is a city, but the building is called the Town Hall. And that is where we got married. Because we lived in Nottingham way back in 2015 to 2016. So, just about a year. And it was in August 2015 that we signed the marriage register right in here. So great memories. So we do have a lot to show you around Nottingham today. the lace market Paul do you remember all this I love this area this was like a really vibrant place to be and I remember there used to be a lot of different quirky places to shop and also nice restaurants to go to there are a lot of vintage clothing shops around here and I think you've bought the old t-shirt in the past it was good quality I think I remember white rows behind us but isn't that mostly women's clothes <laughs> Maybe we went in there by mistake, I don't know. Who knows? I knew you had been to White Rose. There's two of them. I think this one is the menswear department. That's more like it. Do we want to go in for old time's sake? <laughs> I remember jugglers. Ah. Yeah, they sell lots of magic tricks. I think we should go and have a look. So why is it called the Lace Market, Paul? So, the reason it's called the Lace Market is because this is the area that created the lace during the British Empire's reign. So there were factories right here, is that what it was? So it was littered with factories that produced lace for the entire British Empire. Oh, wow. So and it was that, all exported from Nottingham. Yes, that is what the history books will say. Ah, interesting. So, fun fact for you today.
Getting around Nottingham is easy peasy because of the trams and there's one coming right now and we are going to get on board. Well, remember this, Paul? Waverley Street. And we used to live here. So we're gonna have a little look at where I used to park the car and our flat. It's just down here. It was very, very handy because it's right next to the high school tram stop. Um, so it was very, very easy to get into and out of the city centre. Although having said that, to get into the city centre, um, it's all downhill but coming back was uphill, so we did sometimes take the tram. Look, there's one behind us right now. And here we are, wow. That was my car parking space. It's strange being back. So we lived here for a year, didn't we, Paul? Just one year. One year, yes. And that was five, six, six years ago now. Wow, it's strange, it really is. Um, and I remember on the day that we left, we had a removal van and I think I slightly scraped the, the wall back there. I'm not going to check to see if it's still damaged. If you're in Nottingham and you want to go for a run and get a lot of exercise, you could come to the Forest Recreation Ground. Now, it's got some of the steepest hills around, hasn't it, Paul? Very, very steep. I remember doing a 5k park run here when I lived here because I did like to keep fit. I will try to do that more often where I am now, but it is a quite a good way to keep fit and to stay active and to stay motivated by fellow runners. Rather you than me, I have to say that any time that I came in here I was huffing and puffing and I wasn't even running. <laughs> but the um, forest is also well known as the spot for the annual Ghosts Fair, isn't it Paul? Yes, I think that the event is held in the forest in October every year. And it's basically a big fun fair uh, with lots of stalls as well. Uh, you can get fish and chips. And what was that um, toffee that they had? There was some sort of dessert which had a really, really rude name as well. Can you remember what it was? It's going to be vulgar if I say something. Yeah, actually, it's probably best we don't say it. <laughs> go for great views like this our show of course ah absolutely so please subscribe
and peaceful. Isn't it, Paul? It is, certainly. Um, I remember also jogging along this park whenever I didn't want to go down to the forest park. This is the Arboretum and it is an absolutely immense park filled with some of those beautiful flowers depending of course what time of year you come and trees it gives you some shelter from the wind and the rain if it is that time of year as well and it's just lovely to have a lovely little walk through these beautiful grounds let's take a look I remember jogging in both bits of park. That bit leads to the other side. Squirrels. Look, your squirrel friend. Well, you never know what you're going to find around the next corner, and there's even an aviary here at the Arboretum. They're not real. <laughs> You guys didn't know that there were birds here at the Arboretum, now did you? Well, now you do know, and they're all my friends. The only thing is, they are in the cages. I am as free as a bird, and I can fly away. Bye-bye. Well, we said at the top of the show, A up duck, and we've actually got some ducks here oh, at the hello, Arboretum duckies. as well. Hello, <laughs> duckies. If you're here for a little while in Nottingham, you might want to go and see a performance at the Theatre Royal, especially around Christmas time. There's usually a pretty good panto and it does attract some big name stars. When you shop at a Boots Pharmacy, take a look at some of their own brand products because it will say Nottingham on the address label and the original Boots Pharmacy is right behind me here in Nottingham. It's now a Zara.
And from the door, you can really see that it does look like a really old-fashioned chemist's. It's the original boots. And it's right here in Nottingham. Marcus, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the URL for our show. Why don't you just Google it? Nottingham is not short of shops and you will find plenty of them at the Victoria Centre and the flagship store is John Lewis. Nottingham Castle dates back to the Middle Ages. It was an important royal fortress and occasional royal residence. In the 16th century, the original castle was largely demolished in 1651 after the English Civil War. The site occupies a commanding position on a natural a promontory known as Castle Rock with cliffs 130 feet high to south and west, which dominates the city skyline. Well, that was good timing, wasn't it? That was the quarter bells played at St. Peter's Church in St. Peter's Gate. If you are making a trip to the castle, just take a little walk around the exterior walls and you will find what is claimed to be the oldest pub in England. It mm. is the Ye Olde Trip to Jerusalem. Do you remember the time that we went ghost hunting here? Ghost hunting? Yes, because um, the pub is built into the walls of Nottingham Castle and there are caves that oh, run wow. yeah, that, that run underneath. They're used to uh, store the barrels today. Um, but who knows what went on in days gone by. And Butcherings, we, well, beheadings, well, all that sort of stuff. Torture. And we have a friend who knows a couple of sisters who are local Ghostbusters in Nottingham and they took us on a little tour one time. Now they didn't have all their specialist equipment with us and we didn't stay the night but um, it is one of those spooky places I think that you wouldn't want to stay there um, 
during the entire night, but it is a great place for a night out. So we're just outside our hotel, the Ibis on Fletcher Gate and there's a little alleyway down here and it leads to one of Nottingham's secret gems. Let's take a look. It is definitely a hidden secret. It's a bar called junkyard and it features loads of craft beers that you can buy in two-thirds of a pint and next door to it is another craft beer and I guess international beer emporium it is the Kilpin beer cafe so two great places to find in Nottingham Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, with his merry men. Well, we have been merry men in Nottingham for these 24 hours, and we hope that you have enjoyed the ride with us. Robin Hood stole from the rich and gave it to the poor. I think that that should happen in today's society. See you next time.